Turn our attention to space and ironically, the lack of space within it. You're talking about stars, especially aging ones. They aren't too friendly. They despise making space for their neighbors. As they grow older, they increase in size. Eventually, they swell so much that nearby planets do not have enough room to exist. And they're swallowed whole by stars. Venturing into the vast expanse of outer space reveals not only captivating mysteries, but also perilous threats. It is a realm characterized by violent forces, where phenomena of unparalleled power, surpassing even the might of atomic bomb explosions, unfold. These uncontrollable and nearly inevitable occurrences possess the potential to annihilate entire populations. Seemingly concealed in the corners of the universe, these forces are already in motion. Embark on a journey to uncover the seven most lethal tracks, each capable of bringing about the Earth's true and imminent demise. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Earth gets sucked into a black hole. Should the sun accumulate additional mass before its collapse, one could witness the emergence of one of the most enigmatic forces in the universe, a black hole. This phenomenon results from the demise of a massive star, and the gravitational influence of this void is capable of tearing apart other stars and planets. Currently, the Sun lacks the necessary size to engender such a catastrophe. However, if a black hole were to materialize in proximity to Earth, the uneven gravitational forces would initiate the deformation of the planet, unleashing widespread earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. As one approaches the event horizon of the black hole, there exists the ominous possibility of the planet being stretched like a rubber band by this cosmic entity. Termed spaghettification, this process involves the horizontal compression of matter into a noodle-like form as it is drawn into the voracious void. Every component of our planet would be elongated into a string of atoms and ultimately consumed by this insatiable abyss. Asteroid causes a hypercane. Hurricanes persist as one of the most lethal natural occurrences on our planet, leaving a path of death and devastation wherever they make landfall. However, the potential consequences of an asteroid impact dwarf the destructive capacity of hurricanes. If a sufficiently massive asteroid were to collide with an ocean, it could generate intense heat and force, rendering hurricanes seemingly inconsequential. The impact could elevate ocean temperatures to over 49 degrees C, triggering a colossal storm known as a hypercane. In this scenario, winds would achieve speeds comparable to the sound barrier, with clouds soaring to altitudes of up to 40 kilometers. The forceful winds would propel water and aerosols into the stratosphere, causing significant damage to the ozone layer. Consequently, even if the winds didn't carry individuals into space, the radiation on Earth's surface could pose a serious threat. Jupiter turns into a star. This colossal gas giant possesses a mass double that of all the planets in our solar system combined. The gases swirling within Jupiter's atmosphere consist of the same materials found in the Sun. However, if Jupiter were to undergo a thousand-fold increase in mass, the consequences for our planet would be catastrophic. Such an immensely expanded Jupiter would transform into a star positioned at the center of the solar system. This transformation would disrupt the orbits of planetary bodies, potentially pulling Earth closer to Jupiter and subjecting it to scorching temperatures emanating from the now star. Alternatively, the gravitational forces at play could turn our world into a rogue planet, catapulting it into space beyond the solar system. Adrift in the universe without the sun's warmth, Earth's surface would freeze over, leading to the extinction of all life on our planet. The sun swallows the Earth. Perhaps instead of fixating on a yet-to-form star, we should direct our attention to the one currently illuminating our skies. After all, this celestial sphere of gas is the driving force behind life on our planet. However, Given that it consumes a staggering 600 million tons of hydrogen per second, it's inevitable that this energy source will be depleted. When this depletion occurs, the Sun's core will become saturated with helium, initiating a contraction. 
the ensuing rise in pressure and temperature would prompt the sun to release immense amounts of energy. Consequently, the outer layers of the sun would expand, unleashing a perilous heat wave on Earth. Our oceans would evaporate into thin air, and the radiation would scorch the planet's surface. Eventually, the sun, once the giver of life, would engulf what remains of our molten planet. If the sun continues its expansion, our solar system would confront a new and formidable threat. Earth spinning at the speed of light. Earth completes a full rotation on its axis every 23 hours, 56 minutes, and 4.1 seconds, exhibiting varying rotational speeds depending on one's proximity to the poles. At the equator, it moves most swiftly at a rate of 460 m per s, while at the north or south pole, it practically stands still. This rotation is integral to life on Earth, orchestrating the cycle between day and night that maintains a habitable temperature. Earth's rotational force also shapes weather patterns and influences tides. If we were to accelerate this rotation, even a modest increase of 0.45 m per s would shave off a mere minute and a half from our days, likely going unnoticed. However, a more significant acceleration to 45 m per s would yield a day lasting around 22 hours, inducing a sense of confusion akin to jet lag. Such an alteration would necessitate an adjustment to the yearly calendar. Sea levels, too, would undergo a notable rise, with oceans near the equator surging by several centimeters. Doubling the current rotation speed to 920 m per s would result in catastrophic consequences, submerging coastal cities and disrupting satellite orbits, communication, and weather patterns. Further acceleration to 7,886 m per s would lead to a centrifugal force capable of lifting objects off the planet, accompanied by reverse rain. Pushing the speed to 11,000 m per s would cause the Earth's crust to deform, triggering massive earthquakes. Beyond this, at the speed of light, time on Earth would distort to a standstill, rendering everything frozen and Earth potentially transformed into a tiny black hole with an infinite mass, making survival impossible. Every volcano explodes at once. Think Earth's future couldn't take a turn for the worse? Well, let's explore hypothetical scenarios. Currently, 10 to 20 volcanoes are erupting worldwide, releasing ash and gas into the atmosphere. Now, envision a scenario where every volcano on Earth erupts simultaneously. No corner of the globe would offer refuge from the ensuing fumes and heat. Rocks, reaching temperatures of 1,000 degrees, would hurtle at speeds of up to 700 kF. The impact of this immense volume of molten rock striking the surface could disrupt the planet's equilibrium, potentially leading to a realignment of the poles. A thick layer of ash and gas would envelop Earth, suffocating it and eventually blocking out all sunlight. As the lava cools, Earth's temperature would plummet dramatically, plunging us into another ice age. While this cataclysmic event may not necessarily spell the end of our planet, it would obliterate any possibility of sustaining life until the lingering clouds dissipate. Category 6. Hurricane hits the New York. Prepare for an impending catastrophe as a Category 6 hurricane is poised to wreak havoc on New York. The highest classification, Category 5, already entails wind speeds exceeding 252 kmpf, resulting in catastrophic destruction, rendering large areas uninhabitable and causing prolonged power outages. However, the warming effects of climate change introduce a potential new classification. Category 6, a superstorm. Such a storm would dwarf a Category 5, making it seem like a mere breeze. The genesis of this superstorm would begin in October, late in the hurricane season. Originating as a low-pressure weather system, it would evolve into a tropical storm in the Caribbean within 10 days, eventually intensifying into a hurricane. As it traverses Jamaica and Cuba, it would steadily grow in size and force, escalating from a Category 1 to a Category 5. Unlike typical storms that curve eastward, 
and veer away from New York, this one would follow a perilous trajectory. Three weeks after its inception, the storm would break records, becoming the largest and most powerful hurricane ever recorded. Its first landfall would be in New Jersey, unleashing wind speeds of up to 300 kmf. To put this in perspective, Hurricane Sandy in 2012 had wind speeds less than half of that, causing widespread power outages, $19 billion in damages, and 43 fatalities. However, a Category 6 hurricane hitting New York would result in exponentially more devastation. With a size larger than half of the United States, the storm would bring chaos in its wake. Storm surges exceeding 8 meters would induce rapid and perilous flooding across the city, leaving millions stranded or at risk of drowning. The subway stations, streets and tunnels would be inundated, impeding mass evacuations. Flying debris, propelled by powerful winds, would turn even the smallest objects into lethal projectiles, particularly shards of glass from swaying skyscrapers. Survivors would contend with power outages, plunging the entire city into darkness, leaving almost 9 million residents without essential services like healthcare, transportation, and communication. Desperation would ensue, with millions in need of rescue. In the eye of the storm, a momentary calm would prevail, akin to standing on a mountain peak 1,500 meters above sea level before the tempest resumes. As the storm subsides, the aftermath on land would be catastrophic. With the infrastructure obliterated, escape routes would be limited to boats navigating through the flooded streets of Manhattan. The once vibrant city would lie in ruins, with Times Square devoid of power, millions losing their homes, and many lives lost in the wake of this unprecedented disaster.